What's up, everybody? This is John Rosani with Clean TV, and John. Wait, why, why am I referring to myself in the second, the third person? What's up, everybody? This is John Rosani with Clean TV, and I'm in the kitchen with Jenny over here, and we're coming you, to you straight from Maine, on the coast, right by the ocean, which I'll show you in a moment. But Jenny is going to show us how to prepare an amazing clean dish, and we're gonna make one millet risotto. Okay, Jenny. So the millet risotto. What do we got here? So we're toasting the millet in like two tablespoons of organic olive oil, um, and then with a, so you can make a risotto without making using traditional white rice. You can do it with any grain, and basically all you do is <clears throat> for a normal risotto you would take the white rice and you would um, add broth to it and just keep stirring in a little bit of broth, like half a cup at a time, until it soaks that up. So you have this really sticky, brothy sort of soup almost. But you can do that with millet. Um, you put it in a saucepan and just keep adding little bits of, of broth. And I have um, a wild mushroom and barley with dill and peas. It's all organic, nothing unclean in it. And you just keep adding that like half a cup at a time until it soaks it up. And then just keep doing that. And then you add... Wait, Jenny, one question. So what, what temperature do you keep it on? Do you keep it on low or medium? Um, you keep it on, yeah, medium low. Medium so low. Just, it's, a, it's kind of a slow process. Um, but with millet, it actually should cook faster than with white rice, it will absorb it more. Quinoa would work, um, amaranth would work, and then I'm putting um, organic mushrooms and olives and basil into this one. Great, and how long did that, does that usually take? Um, when, well, it's roughly like 25, 30 minutes, I think, but it could be longer depending on how much you're making and how much, I mean, it kind of, you, the point is to keep stirring it slowly, it's sort of a, a meditative, recipe. Um, you're supposed to really stand over it and keep, because you stir it until it's absorbed and then you stop and add more and keep stirring it. So this is also a, a stress reduction it is. Uh, meal? It totally is, yeah. Cool. Let's do a little bit of And then you can feel free to add just water or um, a little bit of Coconut oil will also work with the olive oil, and that gives it that sort of buttery, because risotto also is made with butter, which gives it that sort of creamy, really rich, comforting flavor and texture. So you can use coconut oil or olive oil, they'll both work for that. And then as, it, as you need more liquid, you can add just plain um, vegetable broth or just water. Not really. So Jenny, we're back. Where are we at in our amazing millet production? Um, it's been about 15 minutes now, and I've probably added about um, six cups of water. Well, five, maybe between four and six, um, just kind of a half a cup at a time or a cup at a time. And it's absorbed it all. You can see I've added mushrooms. There's some peas in there. There's carrots that were in the broth. Um, and the basil and olives will go in at the very, very last minute. I've added just a tiny bit of um, Celtic sea salt and a little bit of freshly ground black pepper. And now it's it's really absorbing the liquid now. And I've added a little bit more olive oil too. And I, I'm sorry, I don't go by measurements. <laughs> it's just <laughs> sort of um, just kind of splashes of things here and there. But you can see that it's definitely absorbing it. So you just want to add in um, probably like another half a cup. And so how close is this to finishing? What's the final result we're looking for? It's um, going to be pretty thick, and it will have almost quadruple in volume from the millet that you started with. I started with two cups, actually, because we're feeding a lot of people with this. So, um, But you want, and you can taste it, too. You, want, you definitely don't want the millet to be crunchy. It needs to be really soft and... Most of the liquid will have been absorbed. And for two cups of millet, with all the other additions of vegetables, I would say maybe I will probably add another two cups of broth. Or so, Jenny, we have the final product here. We do. Beautiful, really, really creamy and thick. And you can use it if there's leftovers. You can make burgers with it. You can form them into patties and bake them. And then you can freeze them so you have them all week. You can, um, I actually make sushi with it instead of rice. I'll take nori sheets and roll this up in the middle of it and then slice them up into sushi pieces. Um, that's all. 
You could put it in a salad with mixed greens. Yeah, salad would be great. Or make a soup with it, make a stew. Lots of uses. Excellent. So what is this called again? Um, millet risotto. I'm so excited to go eat it now. <laughs>